Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. So this weekend, I was reading through the forums and saw that Jerry, K7AZJ, had created some bash scripts to help uh, with sending email through APRS using JS8 Call. Uh, so I wanted to take a look real quick at how we might get one of those bash scripts installed on our system and ready to use and also go through the basic use of one of the scripts. So first thing we need to do is head over to the GitHub site and I'll leave a link to this down in the description below but what we're looking at is this uh, very first script here JS8 SendMail2. So all we're going to do is copy this whole script. And there's a couple of different ways you could go about installing this, but uh, I find this just to be pretty quick and simple. So we'll do it this way this morning. All right, so we'll highlight and copy. And back on our Pi, let's go ahead and start a terminal window. All right, and let's move to the desktop folder with CD space desktop. And then let's say sudo nano js8 send email dot sh. And we'll go ahead and press return. All right, now that brings us into the nano editor, uh, ready to type in some commands. But in this case, we're going to actually paste the information that we copied from the GitHub site. Now, the way Jerry wrote the script, as soon as you run, uh, run the script and enter the information, it automatically sends that information to JS8 Call and then tells JS8 Call to go ahead and transmit that data. Uh, I prefer to have it send it to JS8 Call and manually press the transmit button. If you want it to do it automatically, don't modify the script uh, from here. But if you want it to just send it to JS8 call and then allow, uh, be allowed to transmit it manually, go to right here and where it says tx.send underscore message. I'm going to take part of that out. We're going to leave the tx uh, dot and then I'm going to say set underscore text. And that will allow it to post to JS8 call, but will not actually transmit until we go in and manually transmit uh, or press the transmit button ourselves. All right, so let's press Control X to get out of there, Y to save the changes, and Enter to write the file. All right, so you'll see our new file listed here, uh, but we do need to make that executable. So we'll use uh, sudo chmod plus X js8 send email dot sh all right we'll run the list command again and now you'll notice that that same file is green so all right so now that we've made it executable you can execute it by entering period and the forward slash js8 send email dot sh now this is actually not going to create the email but it's going to tell you the parameters that you need to enter in order to make the script work. Um, so the usage is the file name, the email address, give it a space, a sequence number, the space, and a message. Now the sequence number is anything that you make up that you want the sequence number to be. So let's go ahead and try to send out an email real quick. Let's go uh, JS8, send email, oh, I forgot the dot and the forward slash. JS8, send email, dot SH, and we'll send it to my address at ARRL.net. Sequence number we'll give it, uh, let's just give this one a 06, and the message for the email, we'll just say test from email script. All right, and we'll go ahead and press the return button. 
And once the script finishes running, it will dump you back out to your command prompt. Let's go over to JS8 Call and take a look at that. And there you go. You can see it right here in the box, ready to transmit. Now, if you didn't make that mod uh, that I made to the script, then it will just go ahead and start sending that out. Uh, not a whole lot of people on the air uh, early in the morning, but let's hit the send button and see if this one will go through. Now, one thing about, uh, about sending these out, uh, depending on who can hear you and how they have their station configured, your message may or may not get out. Uh, so when people are setting up JS8 call uh, initially, under the reporting tab in settings, they have to make sure that they enter their AR, uh, APRS passcode. If they didn't enter that code and enable spotting to the networks, then even though they hear your message, they won't go ahead and forward that information uh, to the APRS.fi system. Uh, so it's important that uh, more and more people start entering this code and enable spotting to make the entire system better for all of us. Uh, the other thing that you have to do uh, after you've entered the APRS passcode is then enable the spot button right here. All right, so it looks like our message has been sent. Let's go see if we can see where it was actually heard by anyone. So we'll grab a new tab, and we'll just go over to the APRS.fi uh, website. And click on any icon that you see. It's really irrelevant as to which one. Click the Info button, and Raw up here at the top. And then we're going to change this to Email dash two and hit the enter button again scroll to the bottom of the page and you'll see right here that someone did hear our call accepted our message and went ahead and forwarded it into the email system so the email has been sent to my address all right guys hope you enjoyed this video Hope it helps you get the script up and running. Another really cool feature that Jordan has built in uh, with the use of some other systems out there that were already developed, uh, we can send quick emails using JS8 Call. Uh, downside to it, you can't get a reply back in. But hey, that's another video. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you on the next one. 7-3.